What's going on everyone? So the Festival of the Damned update dropped around a half an hour ago from the time of recording this video. So I've pretty much done everything you need to do in this update already. I'm going to try and get through this video as quick as I can. But before I get into that, if you want to know how to complete all the Sea of Thieves updates within the first hour or even half an hour upon release, feel free to subscribe to my channel because that's exactly what I do when it comes to Sea of Thieves content. And if you hit that notification bell, you will always be some of the first people in the world to complete every single new Sea of Thieves update that comes out. So to start things off, the whole event is pretty much just celebrating Halloween and celebrating the Festival of the Damned. What what you need to do in this event is find beacons that are strategically placed around the map. Now these are actually easy to find. I found the hardest part of this whole update is actually finding the islands these beacons are on. And including that, they've also added some new face paints which you can actually get from Duke via doubloons or you can buy them from the general store. So without further ado, let's just jump into the locations of these beacons because that's essentially the main core of this update. Just quickly, I forgot to mention that when you do find these beacons, what you need to do is hold up your lantern then take it to the Fairy of the Damned. You can go there by killing yourself, that's not hard in this game. So as I said earlier, if you want to know how to complete all these events, in the first hour or half an hour upon release, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you don't, you'll get 20 years bad luck. But anyway, starting from the west side of the map, we'll be starting in the Shores of Plenty. So from the west side of the map, where you can actually find these are Cannon Cove, Smuggler's Bay and Mermaid's Hideaway. The best way I'd say doing this is going from the south of the map all the way up to the north, that way when you head east you're pretty much in the same spot already. Once you have found all the beacons there, what you want to do is head east to the wilds. When you're in the wilds, the three places you're going to want to go to are the Crooked Masts, Kraken Falls and Marauder's Arch. And once you've done that, head south of the Ancient Isles, the islands you'll actually be looking for a Plunder Valley, Crook's Hollows, and Devil's Ridge. Following on from there, head all the way to the east to the Devil's Roar. Now this is the new part of the map, you should know this by now if you've played any of the previous updates. And if this is your first time playing Sea of Thieves, I'd be very cautious when you go around there because there's active volcanoes. So while you're in the Devil's Roar, there's no real way I'd suggest doing these ones, because these volcanoes can be very unpredictable, so just try and work your way around them as best you can. But the island you're looking for in the Devil's Roar is Ruby's Fool, Fetch's Rest, and Devil's Thirst. So as I said before, you should have no troubles at all finding these beacons, they're actually extremely easy, and if it's night time it'll be even easier because they light up. But if you are having any troubles at all with finding these beacons, please post the one down in the comments that you're having trouble with, and either myself or someone from the community will help you as soon as we can. So as I said before, if you want to know how to complete all these updates within the first half an hour upon release, and you want to see some other gameplay that isn't just Sea of Thieves, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell, because we're on our way to 10,000 subscribers, and this is actually crazy, I don't even know how we're doing it. But either way, I thank you for your support. If this video has helped you in any way, please show your love by putting a like down there. You don't have to, but if you want to, it'll be greatly appreciated. Also, by the time you're watching this, I would have just recently dropped an EP. That's what I get up to when I'm not making YouTube videos. That'll be linked down in the description if you want to check that out. If it's not up by the time you actually watch this video just refresh it in a couple hours it will be up then so anyway that's pretty much the entire video and i'll see you all in the next one